everyone, welcome back. You know what one of my favorite things about my room is? That it's mine. Everything's green and purple and artsy and wonderful and magical and, well, Sedona. Except for one thing. Order in the court! Crate, you stand here on charges of indecent exposure. How do you plead? Guilty is charged. I can't get rid of it because Fluffy sleeps in there sometimes and I'm having trouble finding a place to hide it. But don't worry, I have a plan. I always have a plan. <gasps> Welcome to Extreme Makeover, Crate Edition. But first, intro finger dance. Here's what we're gonna need. Two yards of green fleece and one yard of purple fleece. Dog fact number 207. Dogs can only see in yellow, blue, and gray, so it really doesn't matter what colors you choose. Pick your favorite. These measurements are based on my crate, which is 19 by 12 by 14, but just make sure you know the measurements of your crate so you can adjust accordingly. For this project, you'll cut your fleece into three pieces. Piece one covers the bottom and sides. Piece two covers the back, front door, and roof. Get it? Roof. <laughs> like dogs say. <coughs> Nothing. It was a bend joke. Hey. And the third piece covers the front door with excess on the sides. Now we cut the fringes. Take your bottom and side piece and cut the fringes two inch by four inches all along the sides and down. Make sure to cut the fringe all the way to the edge. Done! See, I cut the fringes all along the sides and down the back and I cut off a little excess corner. Now you can take this fabric off and with the back, front, and roof fabric. <laughs> Still nothing? Cut along both sides from back to front. And remember, the fringe doesn't have to be perfect. The fringe is like, dude, I'm uneven. And I'm like, brah, it's all rad. Totally rad. Now that you've cut the fringes on both sides, you can take the front flap, flip it onto the roof. Now take your small and final piece of fabric and put it on top of the flap and cut the fringes on both sides. Again, cut from the end of the fabric to the edge of the crate. See, I cut the fringes on both sides. Now tie the roof piece to the bottom side piece and take your little piece and tie it to the front flap. I know these instructions can be confusing sometimes, so if anytime you feel lost, just feel free to pause. Thanks, Ben. Or just rewind. Hey, everyone. Or fast forward. And we're done. Oh. Wait, where were we? See, I tied the side and the back fringes. And I tied the little piece to the front flap. If you want the fringe to look neater, you can always just cut it shorter. And voila, a beautiful designer crate to match the rest of your awesome room. And it's fluffy approved. I really want to see how your guys' projects turned out. Post a picture on my Facebook wall or tweet it to me and hashtag it to Sedona DIY. Got questions? I've got the answers. Feel free to ask them in the comment section right there. All right, I got to go find Fluffy to show him his awesome new crate. Bye, guys. Fluffy! Fluffy! Fluffy here, boy! Fluffy!